In this example, we want to solve two different integration problems that involve integration by parts, one that is indefinite, one that is a definite integral. So the first thing is we have integral of x e to the 5x dx as an indefinite integral. So this one we see a product of two functions. We see x times e to the 5x. And this one we want to differentiate the x. If I differentiate that once, it will go away. Problem one, we have integral of x e to the 5x. And for this, I want to choose my u, thing that gets differentiated as x, so that du is just dx. I want to choose my dv, the part that gets integrated, as e to the 5x dx. Integral of that is going to be v, which is 1 fifth e to the 5x. Integration by parts says that the integral here will be u times v. So x times the 1 fifth e to the 5x. And then minus the integral of v times du. So 1 fifth e to the 5x, and then du is just dx. Now this integral here, I can just compute because that is a e to the 5x, it's gonna be 1 fifth again. So what I will get out of this is a x over 5 e to the 5x minus a 1 over 25 e to the 5x. So that will get the 1 fifth here and one more from the integration, and then plus c. So we have an indefinite integral for this problem. For the second part, we have a definite integral that's gonna involve both substitution and integration by parts. So I have integral from pi over four to pi over three of cosine of x times natural log of sine of x dx. Now first when we look at this and we see we have an inside function, we have a sine function inside the logarithm, so we should probably use sine as our first substitution. And for the sake of making this cleaner, I'm gonna pick the letter w for my substitution. That way I can save u and v for the integration by parts step. So we're gonna call w as our inside function sine of x. And then dw is cosine of x dx, which thankfully we have as a part of this integral. So I can rewrite this problem as an integral of just natural log of w dw with that change. And my bounds will move as well because sine of pi over four is root two over two. And then sine of pi over three is root three over two. I'm gonna rewrite all this stuff in purple so it matches color-wise. And now we're good to go. So now we're integrating the log function. We discussed an act, a formula for this explicitly, but we can also just use integration parts again to derive the formula if you forget it on an exam in a place where you might need it. So the trick here is that integrating log is hard, but differentiating it is easy. So I want to differentiate the log and then integrate just the dw or just the differential part of the integral. So we're gonna let u, the part we differentiate, be the logarithm. Then du is one over w dw. And my v, the part I wanna integrate for the dv is just dw, so v is just w. I then get from this that the integral using integration by parts is u times v, so w log of w, minus integral of v times du, but that's just w times one over w dw. That's gonna be integral of one. So we get w log of w minus w, because that'll be integral one, which is w. And now I can bring my limits back into the problem. I could have done it part way through, which would result in something like this, so you know what it looks like. You put the limits here on this function, and then also still on the integral, or went to the end and put it on everything. And we plug this in to get our answer. And you could do a little bit of arranging with that, but there really isn't too much to make it that much simpler, so you might as well just leave something like that as your final answer for this integral. So there's two integrals, one that's definite, one's indefinite, involving integration by parts to solve out for the answer.